presents Clouds You Won't Believe Are Real. Number 1. Lenticular Clouds This cloud looks like a UFO, and some people actually believe that it is. This is actually a lenticular cloud. It is formed when a current of moist air is forced upwards while it travels up a mountain. This current causes moisture to condense and then form a cloud. These clouds will stay in the same place for days. The reason is that the moist air continues to supply the cloud with the moisture that it needs to hold its shape and position. Part of the reason that this cloud is so large and perfectly shaped is the windmills below the cloud that continue to give it air. Number 2. Anvil Clouds At first glance, this cloud looks like an explosion. It is a cloud, however. When these clouds are visible, you will likely hear a loud crash of thunder because these clouds form at the top of thunderstorms. Even if the storm is several miles away, lightning can still strike these clouds. According to the National Weather Service, anvil clouds can spread hundreds of miles downwind from the actual thunderstorm. Anvil clouds get their unusual shape when the air rises in a thunderstorm and then expands and spreads out when it clashes on the bottom of the stratosphere. Anvil clouds contain ice particles, therefore the air is warmer than the air in the cloud. This keeps it from spreading out and keeps its flat top. The white streaks that fall from the edges of the clouds are snow, however, by the time it hits the ground, it has already melted and turned to rain. Number 3. Cirrus Kelvin Helmholtz Clouds This cloud sits at 16,500 feet and they resemble giant waves in the sky. If you see one of these clouds, you should take a second look at it. Within a minute or two, the cloud will disperse and it will be gone. This cloud gets its wavy shape when one layer of air slides across another layer. When the air moves at different speeds and different directions, it creates waves. These waves don't occur during certain weather conditions, so you can see them even on sunny days. Number 4. Fall Streak Hole Fall Streak Hole, also known as hole punch clouds, look like there's a hole coming through the sky. These clouds appear when part of the cloud freezes into ice crystals. In some cases, the crystals are so large that they fall below the clouds, creating the hole. The hole in this type of cloud can reach 50 kilometers across in the first hour after the cloud has begun. In order for a hole to actually form, the droplets need to be below zero degrees Celsius, but it doesn't need to be frozen. If the droplets are going to freeze, the droplets need to be negative 40 degrees Celsius. Number 5. Mamatus Clouds This is a very rare cloud that many people will go their entire lives without seeing. People used to believe that these clouds were a sign that a tornado was about to form. That theory has been proven incorrect. They are actually a sign of the worst part of a thunderstorm. They develop underneath the storm's anvil cloud. When the sun reflects the underside of the cloud, it creates a beautiful sight. If the sinking air contains large drops or snow crystals, the clouds can hang around for a long period of time. Number 6. Polar Stratospheric Cloud these clouds are also known as nacreous clouds. They are named after the nacre, which means mother of pearl due to the fact that it is iridescent. There are neon rings around these clouds that are breathtaking. These clouds often form in the polar stratosphere, and their altitude ranges from 15,000 to 25,000 meters. While the stratosphere is very dry, during the extremely cold winters, these clouds are able to form due to the colder weather. This is another cloud that is often mistaken for a UFO due to its flat shape and shiny appearance. Number 7. Roll Clouds These are clouds you won't believe are real. These clouds look like tubes in the sky. Many people believe that these clouds are a sign that a tornado is coming, but it's not true. These clouds look like they're rolling in the sky, but they aren't. They're actually a wave with a single crest that moves slightly without changing its speed or its shape. Your best chances of seeing these clouds is if you visit Queensland, Australia. These clouds are known as morning glory clouds. They occur when the sea breezes develop over the Gulf of Carpentaria and Cape York Peninsula. Number 8. Undulatus Asperatus This type of cloud was discovered in 2009. This is very important because the last time a new cloud formation was discovered was in 1951. It is also a very rare formation. It has bright colors that resemble the sunset. The name of the cloud means agitated waves. While these clouds look stormy and dark, they can appear and disappear when a storm is not happening. The most common place that you will see these clouds is in the Plains states in the U.S. They often appear in the early hours of the day. 
Scientists still don't know much about these clouds because they were discovered recently. However, they are still working to get more information. Number 9. Cirrus Kelvin Helmholtz Clouds If you look at this cloud, you'll see that the wave starts off gradual and then gets larger and less defined. This is because layers of air form the clouds. The air can destroy them just as easily. This cloud was first described in the 19th century by Baron Kelvin, a Scottish physicist, and Hermann von Helmholtz, a German physicist. The name of the cloud includes the names of both men. Most people have never seen this type of cloud before. Weather experts say this is because there is not enough moisture in the air to generate the cloud and to make the pattern possible. They often occur in the upper troposphere and usually remain visible to the naked eye. Subscribe for more!